Hi everyone, Messi kind of back again with another asset store review. This time it's the May Madness special of the Dark Dungeon Kit from Triple Brick. Normally $45, this is $22.50 as part of May Madness. This is one of my favourite, that way it is my favourite dungeon kit on the asset store, no doubt about that. It is a beautiful kit. I love it. I've, this isn't like one of these reviews. I do I love it or not? If you've watched me on Twitch, you know that I always wheel this asset out whenever I need to play about with any volumetric lights or any spooky scenes that I need to test. Wow, you've got two settings in this demo. We've got Filmic, like you can see now, and we've got the default one as well. And Filmic makes everything a little bit spookier. And as we go deep into the dungeons, we're going to play about with this. Hopefully, we won't get lost. And I'll see you all in a second. Oh, this is spooky. I want Messi Coda checking out the Dark Dungeon Kit from Triple Brick. Normally $45. It's made madness. $22.50. And it is VR ready. You get 211 models in this PBR beautiful pack. Now, for some reason, I do get weird warnings about um, VR, even though I said I'm loading up the Dowry scene that isn't VR. And the package has got scripts and things that it's expecting me to have VR on, which is odd. Um, I'm not allowed to buy VR. Now look at this. Look at this asset. Look at the those stones. Look at the, the work the detail on that. Look at the texture. It is it is my favourite triple brick asset that I have. Uh, I've got quite a few of them. I do love this. I do keep coming back to it. I keep coming back to this asset whenever I want to showcase off all the two or anything that has fog or lighting. Um, you can see right down to the bottom we've got the god rays coming in now i don't remember the god rays being that strong on, on this to be honest but um, i have done the lighting and you know, as you get closer they do get weaker um well let's let's, right, let's just look those god rays to a side one moment here we've got the light here um, and you can really really appreciate the, the stone here the shadow that drops in all these little nooks and crannies it's lovely I, it, it's just beautiful it really is a beautiful pack it's very realistic atmospheric very well done the doors he's got really good wood rust on the on the hinges it's beautifully done can't emphasize enough how happy i am with this pack and now look as you get here the god rays um less intense as you get close to it so Nice little fun little bit of the God Rays there. Um, if you wanted to stick them in, it gives you something that you can put God Rays in your own project. I would say use volumetric lighting if you want to have God Rays nowadays. Yeah, no reason not to because they work so well. They look beautiful. Look at that. Oh, this is a nice little touch. Nice little fire effect. Really, really good fire. Very realistic. Beautiful fire. Let's bring the old headphones onto here. Noise. Ooh, that's an atmospheric noise background going on. Um, let's go down. Let's go down the tunnel. Now, you don't get a, an asset scene which shows you all of the assets and models prefabs laid out, um, unfortunately, which is a shame. But we can walk around this place and see what you get. We go through the spider webby cobweb places in here, and we've got skeletons on the floor, stones. There's stones and rocks in this pack. So beautiful. So realistic. Photo realistic pack. I'm going to say this one. It's spectacular. It feels like I'm looking at something from Mega Scans. It really does. So good. As we come down here. We come down. Go down here. We're getting good FPS count in here. We go up these steps. What are we going to find in here? <gasps> oh! Looks like going into the crypts. Waiting to... It feels like we're in Something like Game of Thrones, and we're going into the cribs. Valamokalis. So, we got here barrels, your traditional barrels and candles on. Got a bit of a uh, purpley light down the bottom of here. I'm using the Unity 2018.3.9. I always find that uh, it's a little bit buggy. 
but these versions of the later versions of Unity, well, I think like most versions of Unity we've been buggy at some point or another. But when I was importing this and running and doing the lighting, my Unity crashed. Nothing to do with this, that's it, just Unity. So I would say any little weird things I might detect in this, I might put down to Unity rather than Sassy because I have used this asset so often, I have never really found a problem with it. That's it. Never found a problem with this asset. Now, one weird thing is I've never actually noticed if, like here with the lights off, you can re even with the lights off, you can see how fantastic the textures and the models are. If we, yay, okay, I never actually noticed this, um, but the lid is separate, so awesome, fantastic, brilliant. down yeah and we're gonna take oh, which way do we came from there what's down here oh look at that I love that look at that oh little things like that really make a difference little things like that really make a difference and as we go down and we look at the modular pieces that make this up so obviously here two-sided we've got a little arch that's been added on and the wall pieces here we've got the curved arch ceiling we've got the steps how many these how these steps take oh look this is how the steps are, steps are made up so i would have thought this is one long piece but they're not and he's gone higgledy piggledy to make it feel like it's not just like a pattern. What kind of energy as you get here you can see it. And the whole point is you're in the you're in the crypt, you're in the dark dungeon, your light is gonna be dark, and it helps you get away with little cheats that you might get you know on the textures and the ground. I love that. You can't crouch down to see in there. Oh look, look at this, even that part here. That ring, the rust on the ring, the stone that it's it's attached to. It's fantastic. And you know, if you're going to be doing a dungeon, I think this is the best dungeon kit on the asset store. Honestly, I really do. I feel this is AAA. It's the best dungeon kit. Here we've got a bit of the uh, torture room here. The rack. Poking somebody in the bottom of that. Got more, bo oh, more bones. In the they don't even bother clearing the bones away. The bones are just there. It's terrifying. I'm at the top. Arched inwards, pokey, sharp, rusty. You don't want to get yourself caught on that. You'll get tetanus. And this one's open, so we can go inside. Oh, nice. So you can actually use these models in pretty much um, anything. I could use this in the jail scene. Take these out, put these upstairs. Now it doesn't have to be in a dark dungeon. Works for you, a bucket to do your business in. Let's go, let's go! What else are we going to have upstairs? Let's go back upstairs and carry on walking. I'm just gonna, you think that this is it, but no, it's even bigger. Let's go around this corner. Again, bits of the rocks have fallen down, collapsed. You could dig away out there, break through to the other side if you wanted. More like that, see? Look at the ceiling. Oh, little bits of detail in there. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell I'm happy? Can you tell I like this pack? And as you go into here, you don't expect to find this down in a dark dungeon. Feels like a, feels like a church You're in a cathedral. And now you've got the bridge of despair. This asset, this demo scene here is huge. You don't really expect this so big, but it's here. And as we go down, it's like we're going into another world. It's very spooky, very scary. And the lights on. It's dark and full of terrors. Oh, wow. So even though I've, I've played about with this asset so often, so many times, 
every time I pop into it, this demo scene is so big, I always find something new that I hadn't seen before. That is the sign of not only a great asset, a great scene, but also the fact that all of these models that you get in this, and we're not talking about thousands of models, we're talking about a couple of hundred models, but you can use them to basically make whatever world you want. Uh, and the kids, I don't want to show them this because they're already screaming, as you might be able to hear them outside. So this is one of the assets that I think I'll have to keep away from the kids because I don't want them to have nightmares. If I push here on my keyboard, number two, I'm going to go filmic. Um, and everything goes a little bit spookier. Lights brighter, will bloom on them. I think it's a little bit spookier here. So if we go now, keep it, I'll keep on the filmic mode now because we've had all of this part here without filmic, and now from this part on we'll go filmic. Just so you can feel the contrast, difference between the two. Um, hopefully I won't get lost. Okay, I think we're getting lost. We're heading back up to the top. Oh, okay, we're in here, crypt. And as you see up here, oh, okay. Love this. Got this statue here, this sculpture into the wall. It's weird. Oh, just jumping up and down. Is it very bright? See that? We turn that off. It's the only thing I don't like about the filmic. Now let's go for a walk down here. Okay, more of them on the wall here. Which way are we going? I always get lost here because it is massive. Um, this way? See, that's another thing about the filming. Even without the filming, this god wraith is very bright. Never noticed that before. I think it might be something weird with this unity that I've imported in. I'm not going to blame this pack. Okay, here's, here's the crack. Let's go through here. Okay. Down here. Oh, spooky. Spooky! Okay. Here we come. Another map. Look how massive this is. It's huge. Going on. Now, look, I have to say, these are perfectly done. Perfectly done. The difference between this and. The Arctic Castle. Arctic Castle tried to be at this level of quality. And I loved the Arctic Castle. I thought, yeah, Arctic Castle was awesome. Um, this one is, this is like, this feels like I'm in a game. This is something from a game studio. Look at the, here the planks. Just appreciate that, the wood on those planks. As we go across, that's spooky. Down into here, the reflections of the water. Oh, it's a sewer. And now we're in the sewer system. As we come down. You gonna find any steps? Nope, first just jumped out. Bit floaty controller. This is the mucky pooey sewer system that you've got. It's fantastic. Okay, can we go around the corner here? It feels like, you know, you could you could put this anywhere. It's not in a fantasy, it could be in a historical. Okay. Go through here. There's a, this is huge. This is all the same demo scene. It's not one demo scene. This one demo scene is massive. So big that you'd end up just getting lost, like I do. So, for hours that we could spend walking around this demo scene. Oh, wow. Did we even... Were we on the other side of this? I don't even remember if we were on the other side of this. It's so big. Look back in here. Oh my word. Come on, this is a huge. This is ridiculous. And it's currently on sale. There it is. Look, there's the, there's the lion's head. I've been looking for that lion's head. Finally, we come out in here. Wow. You just forget how big this pack is. Every time I load it up, I see something new. And I experienced something new that I haven't experienced in the last time. Uh, it is massive. Huge pack. Let's go back and carry on walking. And... Ah, oh, he's dead. 
So there you go. This is the Dark Dungeon kit from Triple Brick. My favourite Triple Brick asset of all the Triple Brick assets I have so far. It is beautiful, it is detailed, it feels like I'm in a AAA game. It's atmospheric, it's spooky, it's scary. <sighs> you know, I'm just in love with it, really am. Really am in love with this asset. If you need to have something spooky in your game, pop over to the asset store during Made Madness and pick this up for the bargain price $22.50, I do believe. Otherwise, you're going to be paying 45 bucks at full price. And believe me, at full price, it's well worth it. So if you do like these videos and you want to see more, do tell all your friends, your neighbours about the spooky Messy Coda. Over on www.twitch.tv slash the Messy Coda. And also over on YouTube right now where you're watching this. Twitter or, and Facebook as well. And if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.